The Architecture Development Method, or ADM, is the core of the TOGAF documentation. All other parts of TOGAF are therefore used in conjunction with the ADM. The ADM is the process that pulls together the elements of TOGAF, as well as any other architectural assets, to meet the business and IT needs of an organisation. You can get a good overview of everything in TOGAF in Part 1, which is the introduction to TOGAF. The organisation must have the architecture capability to support and operate the ADM. This is Part 7 of TOGAF. The business needs feed into the method, identifying problems to be addressed. The ADM helps translate these business needs into an architectural understanding of the business vision, drivers and concerns. And it's the ADM that then delivers new business solutions and building business capabilities. Guidelines, templates, checklists and techniques that support the ADM are described separately in Part 3. They're referenced from the ADM without the detailed text cluttering the ADM itself. Following the ADM produces content in the form of deliverables, artefacts and building blocks and described in Part 4 of TOGAF. Content is classified according to the Enterprise Continuum, which supports the leverage of relevant architecture assets in the ADM. Content is stored in tools such as an architecture repository. The Enterprise Continuum and tools are both described in Part 5 of TOGAF. Finally, reference models populate the Enterprise Continuum. They can really speed up and improve the process of creating an enterprise-specific architecture, and TOGAF defines two reference models in Part 6.